The biggest seas we saw off Cape Horn were about 60 feet from the trough to the top. And those big seas are serious. No seaman can really be confident that he could handle Cape Horn until he goes there and does it. It's, that's a scary place. So this is kind of in color, in my memory. So I was four, and that was 79 years ago. I loved doing this. I wanted to feel the pressure of the water. The water came shooting off the bow, and I always wanted to touch it. My mother's steering the schooner. My father was 37, and uh, it was a wonderful exhibit of seamanship. It was a serious effort. And there's a wonderful photograph of the family. My father is just completely relaxed and comfortable sitting on the rail. I am at the end of the bowsprit. I'm a four-year-old kid, and I'm having a ball. And my sister is hanging on for grim death. And my mother is looking anxious. My sister and I, we were pretty fearless as kids. And uh, there are no harnesses, no life jackets. We never had any concerns about safety of any sort. But if you fall overboard, you should consider yourself a goner. There were a lot of peculiar weather conditions off Cape Horn, and this is an example. Water spouts, they have a tendency to lift things off the water and strip the sails off of boats, causing lots of damage. Tough stuff. Those things, you want to avoid them if you can. The seas are really big, maybe 50, 60 feet from crest to trough. My sister and I didn't seem to ever get enough motion. And uh, I can remember looking up from the trough at the sea, and look up like that at the crest, and down at the trough. 